Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, LMG here, and boy, do I have a treat for you today. I'm actually going to do, we'll be doing a permadeath series on Kenshi. Kenshi's a game I've done a couple of videos on, I've done a couple of live streams on it as well. It's been in early access for a long time. It's actually coming out for full release, uh, summer or fall of 2018. Very looking, very forward to this. This is a great game. Squad-based tactics gameplay, non-linear story. Not, it's got story, it's got lore in the game, but pretty much do whatever you want. You want to be a traitor, a thief, a medic, whatever. You want to be, you want to be uh, cannon fodder, you can be that too. This game is a harsh, harsh survival game. I would definitely call it survival because you're trying your best out there. We're going to be starting a new game, Permadeath. No safes coming. Uh, if we're dead, we are dead. Uh, so let's get started here. New game. We're actually going to be doing a different one because I found this one actually very tough. I previously actually started this series, but then about uh, way through the first episode, I realized, hey, I don't have the record button on. So that was a bit of a misstep there. Yeah, I kind of like... Oh, you're alone, unarmed, naked, and hungry. Lost in the middle of a harsh desert, teaming with slavers, and you just lost an arm. Kind of cool. Uh, but I do like this a guy with a dog. Playstyle normal, uh, playstyle RPG, which maybe I do like that. A homeless and hungry drifter rescues an abandoned puppy. Seems pretty useless. Maybe he will just eat it. No. No, we don't. We, we're not going to eat the puppy. Uh, I have to tell you, I do have a couple mods. Really basically just to give you more blueprints in the shops. And to rec uh, raise the recruitment limit. Because usually in the vanilla it's got a base game of 30. Now we have 256. That's about it for mods. Alright, well, let's go get started on this run. Yeah, we have 13 cats, which is the currency as well. All right, ladies and gentlemen, a little bit of loading. We're back at the character creation screen to start our uh, playthrough of Permadeath. And we'll actually be getting more than one character. But we're starting out, well, we're going to start with our one character and the dog. We actually have already got a name for this, though. We'll call him Marcus. And we get mail. But not too shabby. He does have more muscles than I do, though. Yeah, I think that's that's not horrible. I think we'll go with that. So I do kind of like the uh, Scorchlanders, though. Yeah, Scorchlanders, it's a different kind of sub-race of human. They tend to value personal freedom to all else. They don't tend to get along with the rules, regulations, religions. They all have a repetition of social misfits. Find a more adventurous professions. Trade and skilled weaponsmiths. Okay. They're fun to get drunk with. Yeah. I was kind of thinking we were going to go with the uh, regular Greenlander, but I kind of like that. Yeah, it's not bad. I guess we'll get with that. Call him Marcus. Yeah, it won't be any good at farming, cooking, laboring, and strength is going to be down for the 10%, but... I kind of like some of that. That's uh, not bad. All right. Do I like that? I don't know. I kind of like his. What kind of hair, though? I can't change the beard color, though. Looks like it's white and old fizzied. Oh, I don't know about that. Uh... I can't do with that mustache. That mustache is too much for me. Yeah, not the best, you know, hair stuff, but it, it, this game has so much love. Uh, no, I feel like he does need something. Yeah, what can it be an old be? Yeah, we're an old beggar. That's not bad. Yeah, I like him. I like it. All right, then we have a little doggy. I'm going to call you after our little buddy, Obi. Anybody ever seen him on the stream? One of my two pups. But right, here we are. We already started. Actually, in Rav I discovered Ravage Hamlet, but I think we are in the... Uh, broken down to the... Let's get up here. I think it is... Yeah, we are in Bast. And this is actually far up north of the map. Yeah, it's under the faction of the United Cities, which we'll talk about them in a bit. It's pretty much just a broken, run-down, destroyed town. We are far up north, which is a bit dangerous. It is a bit dangerous as 
the farther north up you get in this map, the tougher the enemies are. And you're down south in the beginning. You're going to get your butt kicked. Unfortunately. Actually, let's go. I'm going to show up the stats real quick as well. Ooh, you've actually got... No, wait. Why does Obi have katana skills? Wow, he's actually pretty tough for a pup, though. Wow, that dog is better than I am. You can actually see all my skills, everything I've won. We haven't done anything, and we're fresh in the world. Now that dog, don't mess with that dog. Alright, let's go see if there's anything in here. I said I had started this room previously, but then I realized I hadn't hit the record button. Alright, we're gonna grab some building materials. And we'll, we'll be doing any building probably for a while. This is just kind of stuff we'll probably sell. But let's check. 135, 135, 648. Steel bars is pro. Ooh. That's technically, you see the red icon that's stealing, but I don't see anybody here, so I don't know if that's really stealing or not. Nothing in here. We'll go check upstairs real quick. Fabrics. Nothing in there. Well, maybe. How much is that fabric's worth? It's 52. Uh. I would rather have the building materials, actually. Yeah, get, get rid of that. Pick that up, alright. We're actually kind of full. I really don't know if Obi can carry anything. Yeah, we did starve hungry. Yeah, we are a hungry beggar. And this little pup we found in Befriended. And an abandoned town that actually has no shops. Uh, nowhere to get food, either. So we're just a little bit hosed. Ooh, I wonder if I can actually. Oh, doesn't actually have any water in it. Don't think that's working anymore. Some cages. Oh, looks there is another building. It looks like there's a big fight going on outside as well. Let's go check that out. Though not get involved, though we would just get murdered. Oh, looks like we got a couple people in here. I'm a tanner by nature, not a drifter. My days out here are numbered. It's okay, Obi. It's okay, buddy. Now there is some stuff we could possibly, but I don't really want to try to steal that. These guys would get pretty angry, and I'm sure if we check out the stats. Yeah, they would probably murder us. So, we're going to actually maybe go outside and see what's going on with that fight. Our plan is going to be, we're very hungry. We've got a couple stuff we could probably sell, maybe get a meal out of that. But we are, uh, what is that? Okay, it's just a wandering uh, drifter. Okay. I got a little scared. I'm like, oh god, it's over already. So I thought there was a fight over here. If there was, it might already be over. Well, I see a building. I think I almost see a building over there, though. I do. I want to say, Obi, we go over there and check. Very careful. If we run into any fight, we're in a lot of trouble. I almost want to leave. You know what? That's not a bad idea. Obi, why don't you stay in town? You just go and hang out in town right now. Yeah, so Obi's going to go off on his own. Now he's just going to stay in town. He shouldn't get in any trouble. Theoretically. I'm just going to do some scouting because I'm a little quicker on my feet. If we're in trouble, I can probably get away. He cannot. I'm gonna go check that out. Some average hamlets. I don't think we're gonna find any food, but we might find something to sell. Guard outpost. Ooh. I can bring him back some food then. If we find anything. 
Keep guard outpost. I am tempted. To, I don't think there'll be anything there, but yeah, off that way. I'm just gonna check to check out this building. There's a big fight going on. Oh, 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 we gotta go check that out. Okay. I'm on it. I thought we'd seen it. It might have been the same fight or it's a different fight. We might be able to snag some gear. Because right now we've got a uh, iron stick. Not gonna do any damage. Not gonna do any damage. We're not gonna try to get in the boat and fight. We're just gonna kind of scavenge. Well, then we'll hit that guard outpost. Okay, but who is the fight against? Oh, it's United City. Uh, they're kind of like they said, they got samurai conscripts. Uh, kind of like Imperial rule almost. But the Imperials of the Elder Scrolls, I would almost say. And they're fighting off against the Holy Nation. They're kind of racist zealots. They would actually not like our character. I actually kind of wonder if we go to the factions. Let's go to the map. We'll check out the factions. No, they don't hate it, but they wouldn't like us in our t in their town. Holy Nation. Uh, well, since you're the guys that lost, I do want to. I want to put. I don't want to wear their clothes though. That's actually quite a bit. I would actually rather, I'd actually give you this stuff. See, I traded you. So I'm going to take their weapons. Which I think these guys should do because, seriously, I'm bad. I wonder if I can, we could probably get another sword out of this. Maybe even two, ooh. Just, yeah, don't loot any of the, uh, their guys. Ooh, Sentinel. Ooh, they've got bandages, actually. Ooh. Yeah, this is actually a faction uniform, though, so you don't want to take it. Is there any other guys that I can take the stuff off, though? Take all their medical supplies. That makes me a jerk, but I don't care. Oh, well, it's... All right. We've got... We've made a good score. I'm gonna head out for that guard outpost then. Maybe we should get out of here before they realize we took their stuff. Actually, I could store some of that stuff if we need to free up some weight. Okay, Obi's okay. He's hungry, but. Yeah, we're actually encumbered right now, which will actually raise up our strength. Because we are carrying a little bit more. So we're getting XP for carrying more than we. Our normal carrying weight. So we're actually getting the strength up. Okay. I wouldn't mind hanging around you guys. Just for the protection. As we figure out our next move. Uh, kind of that way, actually. It's the guard hut. I can always run back to these guys, I guess, if we had to. And we will get stronger as we, we are carrying. Oh, they're going back to fight them. Because they're trying to leave these guys unconscious and then they didn't have to go back and smite them again. We've actually got some iron over here. Be great for my, there's nobody to sell it to, so... Kind of out in the middle of nowhere. My main goal is going to be trying to keep Obi alive. Because actually, my previous when I was when I wasn't actually recording this, he did die. Unfortunately, we ran into some dogs. A band of wild dogs, and they just yeah, they went to town. We'll go to this guard outpost first. Kind of actually this way, I guess. Oh, another guard outpost. Ah, we'll go to that one, I guess. You see our encumbrance is going down a little bit because our strength is going up. 
And right now we have strength XP of about 17%. Once we just keep carrying this, we're going to get strong enough that won't even bother us anymore. Good way to... Also another good way, carrying around corpses or your own teammates as well. We'll get up that XP. Okay, I think I see... That's a guard outpost. I don't think they're going to have any food. I might have had to steal some if we had to. Though that's very risky. And we're not safe coming, so it's kind of... Kind of a bit dangerous. That's another guard outpost up there. But I'm not seeing any towns. Yeah, this whole place is kind of a wasteland. And Obi's over there. We'll get you some food, Obi. Don't worry, boy. The guard's gotta have some food, I'd imagine. We could speed up time a little bit, but I have to do that when we're walking because trouble can get on us really quickly. Like, you only might have a second to notice it and go the other way. Wolf well, Den 2 has been wiped out. Actually, that's a good thing. I think wolves are just the bone dogs. That's nice. Okay. Yeah, we're actually in the 0.98 experimental build of this. Uh, we might have to import the game uh, when the full build goes live if we're continuing this playthrough. There's nothing really wrong with that. It just imports your base characters, your buildings, whatever you have you. But it will respawn every enemy, all that other stuff. So if you've killed off a whole bunch of dens, etc., it is going to uh, spawn that out. It, it's going to respawn, so we have to fight that all over again. That's really a bad thing. I'm trying to figure out how we get up there. We'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Let me get Obi some food. Fortunately, the animals get they have twice the hunger rate as humans. So he's going to get hungrier faster. Well, it looks pretty safe right now. I guess we could double speed it. I think we're okay. Just got to figure out how to get up to this guard. I actually have no idea. got to be the other way. What is that? Oh, there's an outhouse in the middle of... Huh. No, you actually don't have to, you know, use the facilities in this game. Maybe he's still over there. Yeah, suddenly no inn or anything. No bar. No trader anywhere. Now, a trader might come to that part of the town, but... Uh, I have no idea when they would. So can we get up here? Let's see if the AI can auto do that. Because I've got stuff to sell. So it looks like we've got another squad of samurais. What are these guys up here? Actually, oh, yep. I'm gonna actually just go up this hill right here. Very nice. We've already nicked some stuff. I almost wonder if I can go in there or not. Up. Uh, okay. Get out. Get out. Get out. Okay. Luckily. I'm getting out. I'm getting out. Don't worry. I'm gone, sir. Yeah, I can't even set foot in there. That makes sense. It's a question. We've got to get uh, some food. I would think anything then south would be our bet. I really don't want to send for Obi until we get a clear path. So I am a little bit faster. Yeah, it comes down to 57%. We're still getting stronger. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is not the not the easy start. Because if you do the one where you start with some money, start with the sword and everything, you actually start by an outpost. You've got it pretty simple. Just a little bit tougher. But that's why we enjoy Kenji. We're slightly hungry. So our plan is just to head south for a while. How's our stomach doing? Not, not as good as ours. Oh, looks like there's another fight over there. Oh dear, ooh, that might be some meat, actually. And they might, I don't think they would attack. I don't know if they would for sure. They are massively racist though, that's the problem. I just don't know how far that racism extends. Unfortunately, they didn't kill it. Which is a bit of a problem. But if we take out the pieces, though, that it will die. Foul raw meat. Ooh, actually, raw meat. No room for that item. Uh, you know what? Let's drop that. Don't eat the raw meat. Oh, God. Well, actually... You could have cooked that. That might have been better. Ooh, and actually... Uh... No, because we might get fined out. Yeah, we'll take that. We'll give that to Obi, I guess. Let's we found some meat. Ooh, what do we have over there? Oh, that's another big nation of the holy... Okay, well... I was going to start stacking this stuff up. So they might be uh, due for a clash up. I'd have to say they outnumber you by just a bit. But I think the samurai are a little bit better trained. Let's head back to Obi, get him that food. So that won't keep him up filled for long. We could actually cook it. But I don't think he would care, though. Yeah, we're still hungry, but not as any... Well, there is a fire up here. Let's go over here and see if we can cook it in their fire. Actually, I think we can get our own little fire going. Yeah, let's get a little fire there. We get our first day in Kenchi battle. Yeah, it's almost into our second day. Oh, oh yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna feed you. Don't worry. He doesn't eat that. I'm gonna try to figure out. Let's go over to him. Trade. Yes. I would like to give you this piece of meat. No? Hey, dog, I'm just trying to feed you. Let me feed you, dog. You're gonna let me bloody feed him. Alright, well, unfortunately, I think I would need to build... I don't even know if I could have the tech for that yet. I do not. Well, I would really need a back backpack for him to eat out of that bloody heck all right well actually I wonder if I drop it on the ground if I drop it on the ground okay ob ate that
But he's still pretty hungry. Uh, okay, then. We gotta get out of dodge. Luckily, right now, we're, I'm a little bit... We're about the same speed. He's pretty hungry. Right, ladies and gentlemen, I think we'll leave off on our first episode here. As we've gone, we're on to day two. Uh, next episode, I think we are going to try to head out and find something amidst this wasteland. But so far, really no luck. There's no food anywhere. We're going to try heading down south. Maybe down south around this way. Though I really don't think there's anything really nice up until we get really down here, at least. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed. Sure, let me know what you think about the uh, first series. Hope you guys liked it. And I will see you next time in the world of Kenji.